Hello everyone, Chief Meteorologist Brian Hale. More warm, cloudy, breezy weather for the Rio Grande Valley. Plus we take a look at the uh, system that wants to become something for the tropical forecast off the east coast of Florida. The dry line in West Texas helping to act as a focal point for showers and thunderstorms big thunderstorms on up through Wichita Falls and then on up into Oklahoma. I think we'll probably see more of that over the next 24 to 48 hours with upper level low pressure really cranking it out. Now future cast goes on down into the Atlantic off east of Florida to see that little area of low pressure that may very well become something more someday. It's a wannabe. It's Investigation 90L and the uh, computer forecast models, the spaghetti forecast here, shows that everybody's pretty much in agreement that it will move on with the Gulf Stream, that warm river of water uh, that uh, parallels the U.S. East Coast heading on north, could make landfall, if you call it that, around South or North Carolina over the course of Friday to Saturday. Uh, forecast for winds, we're looking at more 20 to 25 mile an hour winds around the Rio Grande Valley for Thursday and again on Friday. Upper level low pressure will continue to move across the four corners on the southern plains, generating the chance for strong thunderstorms north of the valley, but also we could see some kickoff along the mountains in Mexico, west and northwest of the valley, so we'll keep a sharp eye off that direction each and every night. But look at the uh, Storm Prediction Center's bullseye for severe weather. All well north of the valley, we're in that general thunderstorm, light green zone there, just basically the chance for a thunderstorm. But really the bullseye for severe weather, that's going to be on up toward Wichita Falls, Oklahoma, and Kansas and Missouri. As far as future cast, right here at home, we're talking more seasonal, warm, and breezy weather for the Rio Grande Valley. Plenty of clouds, a few thin spots, and I will be keeping an eye off to the west just in case a thunderstorm kind of blossoms over the mountains in Mexico. But really, the next best chance for valley-wide showers and thunder showers settles in early next week. We're just going to continue on with this really nice seasonal weather. The heat index, each day take the humidity and temperature, 90 will feel more like 95 to 98 degrees, maybe even close to 100 by the weekend. And your forecast for Mother's Day looks like we're talking about 92 with the winds that will be out of the southeast 20 to 30 miles an hour. It will be a warm and breezy day for sure. That's a look at your Storm Tracker forecast.